So this is pork tocino, grated purple yam, brown sugar boba ice cream bar. Ah. <laughs> Everything's like falling. Hello, I'm Martin Romero. I'm a photographer based in New York City, and I live in Queens, New York. Let's take a look at my fridge. What do you think the fridge says about you? I feel like it's a hodgepodge of everything, very Filipino. I just like really love to eat. You know, I love Asian food in general. So my favorite item inside my fridge, actually it's not inside my fridge, it's inside my freezer, thigh sausage. Whenever I cook this, I actually cook everything. I chop it up into small pieces. I almost have it like, almost like every day for breakfast. Well, for me like breakfast is all day. So I can have it for dinner, I can have it for lunch. Honestly, it's like my comfort food. So my favorite item from my fridge, which I use almost daily and almost with every meal, is this Maggie Savor. It's chili mansi. Honestly, like I put it with everything. I love it. It adds a nice umami to whatever you eat. I love the original one, but this one has calamansi, which is like a small, like a small citrus. It's funny because my friends always ask me this. Right now, I would have to say uh, fried shallots. I put fried shallots all over my food, breakfast, lunch, dinner. I also have garlic, which if you're Filipino, you most often than not make garlic rice and you can like top it all over. You always have to put more. This is my favorite at the moment, shallots. But close second would be fried garlic. Whenever I go home to the Philippines, I always crave rice cakes. And there's this certain um, rice cake that I crave. It's called puto kalasyao. It's like, what do you want to eat? It's like, I want puto kalasyao because I know I'm going to get, you know, the other food. But rice cakes for me are the best. Is there a splurge item in my fridge? So during the peak of the pandemic, uh, I was really craving for Korean barbecue. So I have short rib. I'm trying not to go through them. I probably get like two, three pieces at a time. Of course, I can't have this without kimchi. So I also make my kimchi. I only have like one tub at the moment. But before, I would have like Tupperwares and Tupperwares of kimchi. Is there anything that's expired in my fridge? I think there are a bunch of items that have like best before dates that I've gone over. Um, but I don't know if it's so bad. Like for example, this guac, I think it's best before month has expired for maybe like two months already. It just says best before, it's not expired. So I kind of push it every now and then. This was expired maybe last January. Thanks for being here so I can throw all of these expired products. I mean, I wanna say some of the stuff that I fermented is expired. It is essentially calculated rot, you know? So fermented, I have the garlic and ginger paste, the kimchi, the egg, I cured egg yolks. I made this a year ago and I think, I still think it's okay. Yeah, I would put this over pasta a lot. So this is my last cured egg yolk. So what does my fridge smell like? Let me, I haven't actually smelled my fridge. I don't know, maybe it's very garlicky cause I have a bunch of food that's, um, that has garlic in it, like the, uh, like the adobo. I have like cloves of garlic. Um, yeah, don't show my mom cause sometimes I buy the one that's already peeled cause sometimes I don't have time, you know, as, a Filipino living in New York City, I love cooking Filipino food, but I don't like cooking that often just because, you know, I have to wash all the dishes, all the pots and pans. So whenever I cook, I cook a lot of food. So right now in my, um, my freezer, I have adobo. I have like maybe one, two, three, four Tupperwares of, of adobo. I think this is, oh, this is beef salbicao, which is essentially steak. I have like, I think four, five Tupperwares of it. Just trying, trying to fit everything inside. As a Filipino, savory and sweet kind of go hand in hand. I have lots of uh, sweet products inside my freezer. Pints of ice cream, brown sugar boba ice cream bar. Yeah, it's 
very good. Cookie dough, which I made in the past year. Um, I used to have like three of these. So whenever I would crave a cookie, I would just like heat my oven and you know, make like two or three at a time. Cause you know, cookies are best when they're freshly made. Oh, it's actually my favorite uh, Filipino breakfast. Oops, everything's gonna fall. So this is pork tocino. It's cured pork. It's a bit, some people like find it sweet. In the Philippines, in Tarlac, which is my province, I would eat this almost every day. This would be my number one breakfast request. I have like three packets of grated purple yam, which I have yet to make. Do I have any organization when it comes to my fridge? If there's space and you know, I just shove it in there. This is my system. Just fitting everything, shoving everything inside. Yeah, it's not closing. Should I fix it? <laughs> I think if my mom sees my fridge, she'll organize everything. As a CrossFitter, actually, I ha it's weird because after a wad, after a workout, I'm not that hungry. But I feel like if I have to eat something afterwards, most often than not, it has to be rice. I have rice always on stock. This is rice as well, but it's alige fried rice. Alige, well, it's crab fat. And I put a little bit of shrimp for the protein. And I put a little bit of like black garlic in there as well. So if I need to really eat something, it has to be rice. So what's at the very back of my fridge, I have no idea as well. Uh, because I purchased a bunch of items that I have never used. It's actually not at the very back of my fridge, but it's been here for months and months. Cooked and salted duck eggs. I'm not sure how I'm gonna eat this. I have quail eggs, which I have yet to use as well. Chili oil, sauteed shrimp paste. I love eating it with seafood. Okay, so if I'm gonna make a quick snack, I showed you guys the Alige fried rice. Let's get some rice. Then let's like add more protein. So I love adding the fried shallots and garlic. As I said, like I love adding Maggie with whatever I eat. So I'm gonna add a nice chili mansi to my rice bowl. Kain tayo. Thanks for letting me share all my favorite Filipino food inside my fridge. Make sure to like and subscribe to The Spruce Eats. Paalam!